Hello, people. I'm Jabby Kuei, joined by Chara Kirk. Hello. We're going to look at Gachi, the official trailer with Priya Bhapat and Abhe Mahajan. Abhe actually texted me directly, and he's like, Hey, Jabby, can you react to this trailer? I'm like, sure. And then I didn't do it. And then he texted me again. He's like, Hey, Jabby, are you going to do it today? I'm like, uh, yeah. And then I didn't do it. I feel really bad. So I'm apologizing right now to Abhe for not doing this sooner. We're doing it now. And the movie comes out on December 22nd. And so. it comes out on December 22nd, so do check it out if you like the trailer. My dear Gachi, Lahan Pana Pasun Patango Udwala, Sandanya Baghala Meethe Yaitse. Azmala Tu Sudun Dusra Koni Hi Ithe Na Kohta. Oh. He Pizza Papad Lonche Kasi Ali Kde. Saha Mahi Vya Pasun Sorry Sorry Madan Pudi Da Kal Tue. Aza Ghar Gaan Pad Lai Tencha Kde. Na Yekun Gidaar Ta Jak Tap Saif. Saha Vastha Mala Maji Paishin Vala Ale Baji. An Chek Nai Cash. that's interesting to me because as a filmmaker who has to consider the possibility of doing low budget films it's fascinating that they managed to do most of this story in one location which mm. is just the rooftop of the film it's just this dynamic of wrestling back and forth with this woman who wants to off herself and he's trying to do the right thing and be a good Samaritan and stop her from doing that and keep right. her alive and yet she's also trying his patience at the same time to the point where he's like you know what maybe you should kill yourself <laughs> It's an interesting film. It looks like they'll have an interesting dynamic throughout this movie. If they can pull this off where they keep it interesting the entire time, mm -hmm. the entire duration of the 90 minutes, that's a remarkable feat. Well, the one thing that I can think of already that if they can answer this question for me, then I'll really be hooked in, and that's why does he stay there? Well, you can invent a number of reasons well, why. Yeah. He's like, there's the good Samaritan aspect to it. There is she's pretty, and maybe he's, you know, wants a girlfriend. Yeah, that's the classic, really that's the classic romantic aspect to mm -hmm. it. There is, he just feels guilty. There's any number of reasons you can I easily guess. attribute I mean, I there. guess if you found someone who was, wanted to kill themselves, it would be your duty to be like, actually, I have to stay here all day and forego all my duties in life to yeah. save yours. It seems like the moment you walk to go get some help, she could jump. Yeah. And so you kind of feel like you're compelled to stay there and make sure she doesn't do that. I don't know why he can't pull out his cell phone, but I'm sure that'll come up in the film. Maybe she threatens herself and she says, if you call anyone, I'm gonna jump. That's always the thing. Like, mm -hmm. if you do anything that violates my comfort zone, I'm gonna jump. Once again, Abhe looks so cute. Like he was in pictures. He's just so cute as this kind of affable, innocent, really sweet guy who just means well, but yeah. is maybe, doesn't do all the right things all the time, but you know, he's trying. Yeah. And I really like him. This is right up his alley too, yeah. because he is a theater person. Like when we were at TVF uh -huh. talking to him, he's like, I have to go do my play tonight. He's a theater guy, that's like, that's his special that's where he comes from and so this is totally his you know arena man they've found the prettiest girl to want to kill herself <laughs> Yeah, she's gorgeous. In a way, this almost reminds me of the Tom Hardy film, Locke, because in that film, he's got this objective. He has to get to this person. I don't want to say what in case you watch it. But meanwhile, along the way, he's dealing with all these things, all these crazy matters that are sort of life and death for him on the phone. And everything is like theater because it's just a one-man show. The camera's mm -hmm. mostly on his face the entire film, and it's really interesting. Likewise here, Abhe is dealing with a whole bunch of matters of his own, like these crazy fiscal related matters, mm -hmm. these financial things that he's dealing with, with his home being mortgaged off or something like that. Like he's in some yeah. other trouble that he's dealing with simultaneously to this current situation. There's a lot happening even though most of the film takes place in one location. That's really cool that they're able to build up stakes despite the fact that the locations don't change very often. As far as cinematography goes, the director decided to go for more of that handheld documentary look. You guys, you got the kind of shaky cam, not egregious, but just in 
enough to give you that sense of it's real and you mm -hmm. feel like you're there. So that's an interesting approach to this, as opposed to the very beautiful cinematic Bollywood, classic Bollywood type. I, I believe this is a Marathi movie, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. And so this has a more real feel to it, and I'm digging that. If you're someone who enjoys independent cinema and you want to support an indie film, this would be a good one to go to. I can tell from looking at these shots, the DP did a great job because when you're seeing the actors on this rooftop, the background is not totally blown out and yet the actors are well lit. I don't know if they use lights on them or just reflector boards, but mm -hmm. the fact that you can see the actors clearly and you can see the background at the same time, just in terms of exposure, means the DP did a great job. Even with consideration of the fact that this is an independent film, they managed to pull off a well-lit movie where she doesn't look blown out and yet you can make out the details around her, you can make out the city in terms of the, you know, the lighting and whatnot. For instance, on this shot at 45 seconds, if the sunlight was directly on her, you'd see a bunch of harsh shadows. This wasn't just like a run and gun film. They, they took time to craft at least the lighting of the film. It feels like all around this was a film that they really took their time with to get right is what I'm trying to say. I'm very curious to watch it. I don't think it's going to come out in the States over here, but I'm asking I'll pay for a link so that I can watch it with you and we can review it. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you'd like to help support the channel, go to patreon.com slash There are different tiers with rewards waiting for you if you're interested in that stuff. Also, Achar Kirk Internet. I'm Jabby Kawe. This is Achar Kirk. Peace out.